a Bedlington Terrier. Terrier. He's a blue, a blue colour. Um, he is actually four years old. Um, yeah, that, that's that's our Alfie. Mr. Barron's an English Springer Spaniel, um, and he was he's just over a year, so he's just in full teenage mode. This is Orty. He's 13 months old, and he's a German Shepherd Lab cross, uh, and he's just gone through a really bad adolescence, but he's getting better. What was your reason for deciding to use dog daycare? What you might not realise is that it's until about three years ago, it wasn't common at all in the UK. It's something that was very common in um, America. And it's something that I wanted, having seen the daycares in America starting up 20 years ago, I wanted to start doing it then, but I wasn't brave enough. So it's a brand new thing really to the UK. What made you think it was a good idea? I thought it was a good idea. One is because um, he needs interaction with other animals, you know, he, uh, dogs. And he wasn't getting that. Um, I did know uh, one of my friends had a dog, but I wanted him to be more social uh, with other dogs. Um, and you were recommended by one of my clients uh, that you'd set up and said how well her dog had done um in socially interacting and um so you re the recommendation for for you um from another one of your um clients um spurred me on for him to bring alfie to you we brought buster to daycare is that we just don't like leaving him on his own um he gets distressed when either of us leave i mean i can still be here and paul will leave the house and he'll cry um so it still needs working on a lot with his, his separation anxiety but if we're going to go out for the day I and mean, we didn't get a dog to just leave buster behind um so we take him on holiday we take him everywhere with us but if we want to go and do something together or i need to take my mother-in-law out i want to know that he's somewhere safe i don't want to know that he's sat at home worrying um or getting upset in any way so daycare for us is just fantastic for the times that i have to go visit my mum um and i just don't need to worry about leaving him for i could talk even for five minutes let alone eight hours or four hours uh, just wouldn't do that but yeah so that, that's why we we bring him to daycare we took uh Artie to daycare because i'm not confident in socializing him so i wanted to know the right way to socialize him do you have a specific reason then why little tykes instead of because there are locally quite a few daycares available the reason we chose little tykes over anywhere else is simply because when we came to the little um puppy party with you the first time um and yourself and dawn had said that you you run the daycare as well um it, it was brilliant because i saw how you both were you can the fact you vet nurses um so you've been around animals and dogs the whole time um you're not just going to put your baby with anywhere you wouldn't put your child with anywhere so i want to put my baby and my dog with somewhere that i know they absolutely care about animals because you love being around dogs and you you said that on your website um, so that comes across, across quite strongly that you're doing it because you, you love the animals, you know your stuff, you know what you're doing and the building's fantastic. Um, so, you know, why wouldn't we have chosen you? <laughs> I don't want him to go anywhere else. <laughs> when I came along, um, you know, you were stipulating that um, Alfie had to be introduced to other dogs, which I hadn't even thought about. I thought, oh, oh yeah, you would, you know, and each one you took the time in making sure Alfie was okay with everybody else, um, which I thought actually that's that's amazing. But you'd care about what you're doing, and and quite rightly so. You care about you know the animals and their welfare. You do care, and it does show, um, and how you're coping with the COVID as well. Procedures you've instigated in that as well. It's like a child having you try to make sure they're going okay, and the little videos. It, it kind of like it it kind of makes your day you know oh he's okay you know you do worry about them and we know they're safe and they're fine with you but it's just nice to see them interacting with with everybody else as well your website your testament what you and dawn did and and where you actually started from both of you it was one dog that did it one dog that made you get interested in it and 
it just made you feel well it made me feel so secure knowing he was going to be fine the facilities you have i was when i first took alfie um to be introduced to the other dogs i was surprised with the, the bit outside i mean that's just creative i mean that's just amazing you know you you've thought about it the price that you you offer is exceptionally reasonable I think your charges um are, are perfect i know that Orty is happy when he goes because videos that come through from dawn show exactly what he's been doing what he's been up to and the feedback that comes back as well from dawn what he's done what has he been like what issues he's had if he's had any so it's the feedback from dawn the videos that you see and the dog when he comes home and he's like can't do another thing brilliant absolutely brilliant when i took him to the door this morning he was like barking his head off and he couldn't wait to get inside the door and it's like taking a child you know to school they, they're just dying to get through that door because he knows how great it is he just absolutely loves it i know that buster loves coming to you because the second we pull up in the car park and open the door and get him out the back he pulls to get in the door. I mean, that's all I need to know because he wouldn't do that if he didn't want to go. It's perfect service.
nice. They've got a little stone thing you can launch off onto you from there.